Welcome back. 17 News is your local election headquarters, and it has been over a week now since Kern's Board of Supervisors approved a controversial three-year contract with the Dominion voting machines during a very contentious hours-long debate. And now that the dust has settled, our Maddie Gannon spoke with those involved in the decision and has more on the state of our elections department. Kern County's chief election official, Amy Espinoza's decision to present a three-year contract instead of one surprised many and heightened public outcry we've seen for months around another contract with Dominion. In 2024, there could be another system under fire. And then what do we do? You know, just after every election cycle, we just change vendors. Espinoza pushing back on public uproar over the contentious three-year Dominion contract that split the board three to two with supervisors Couch and Peters voting no, asking to delay the decision again. The evidence wasn't there, and um, even when it came down to that final vote, you know, I, I understand Supervisor Peters wanting some more time, but as I mentioned, this has been going on for a year and a half, and the evidence just is not there. This came before me, before I was on the board under Supervisor Maggard uh, last winter, and it's come before me a couple times uh, subsequently, and not to mention, um, you know, since 2020, the election's already been settled. So, you know, we have, I feel that we have the information that's needed to move forward. And how many times are you going to kick the can down the road? Some of the public want to split the elections office from the auditor controller department. That's something chair of the board, Jeff Flores, has said he would be open to. I feel like I still need to get my feet wet a little more in this position specifically um, before I can really say yes or no. But if it's the will of the board and it's the will of the people at the end of the day, um, then I, I wouldn't be one to necessarily stand in the way. But Espinoza emphasizes tangible changes are needed in the department, such as more funds for technology and specifically laptops for mail in ballot signature checking. The Kern County Board of Supervisors manages her budget. I'm co committed to more equipment. I'm committed to a second sorter. After vote counting was delayed in 2022, when the county's sole mail-in ballot sorter machine broke down, Espinoza talked about the idea of a second one. She said she's waiting to see if federal grants come down, but added the board could approve funds for another one on its own. At the county elections office, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.